Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at a set of iBoard running boards from iBoard Auto. Now you may be thinking these sound familiar. Well, that's because I did a review and an install video as well a while back. Um, they've incorporated a few changes into their brackets and they wanted me to showcase a short video showing you the difference. So let's go ahead and tear this box open and see what the difference is. But before we get started, let's make sure to give credit where credit is due. Jump online to www.iboardauto.com to check out all they have to offer and see what will fit your vehicle. These are specific for a 2015 to 2018 Chevy Colorado crew cab. And the color is anodized black. But they also have them in a polished finish as well. Alright guys, I've gone ahead and opened up the box and pulled out all the hardware. With the latest version of these the hardware is a little bit different. So these are the brackets that mount to the uh, rocker panels of the truck. They've redesigned these brackets uh, to give you better clearance underneath the truck. So these are the new brackets here. You can see I've got all these six of them. And this, this is the old bracket. And you can see they line up pretty much exactly the same except now you got like an inch and a half, two inches almost more clearance underneath the running board. Probably my biggest complaint with them originally was this bracket when you mounted them, the running board sits here and you've got all this metal sitting out below and you could see it um, you know, from the side of the truck when you were driving along. They also caught a lot of junk as you were driving. So the new brackets are totally redesigned. Um, still have slotted hardware holes for there versus slotted like that so you still get the adjustability if you need it still a solid piece of metal coated nicely that's a that's a thumbs up improvement uh, another thing I noticed is the hardware now all the bolts and nuts and things are now black I don't know if that's because they have a new coating on them or something like that but the other ones were all like a brass hardware here the old so you can see all the they're, they're a little rusty looking but the bolts were brass the washers were brass, or at least they had a, some sort of gold brass finish on them. Same grade bolt, 8.8s. These are also 8.8s. These are like the main mounting ones. And then these are like a, like a stainless now uh, versus like the brass ones before. So just something I noticed that was different. So you get all this hardware when you uh, buy these. These, uh, these clips go in the holes on the underneath side of your rock panels and you use a combination of flat washers and spring washers to mount here and here on the underside of your truck. And then you use these T-bolts to um, go in through the running board and actually sit like this in this here with another washer and a lock nut with a nylon insert probably won't be able to pick it up here, but there is a nylon insert in there. Pretty basic install. Again, up in the top right corner, I'm gonna put the link to the installation of the original ones, which will be identical apart from being, you're looking at this hardware versus the new hardware, but same process, same steps, everything. Obviously it comes with a set of installation instructions. And then another thing I noticed, so this is the old one on the right and the new one on the left. You can see, the, these are obviously a little dirty, but They've changed the way they adhere this rubber pad to the metal of the running board itself. So here they are now using like a square rivet that's going in and it's it's adhered pretty well. I mean there's obviously some sort of adhesive underneath here and then these rivets here. Before they used three squ uh, circular rivets. I mean these never peeled up on me at all when I was driving in the year that I had them and through the Chicago snow. So still a good way but... Um, just a small change. Another thing I noticed is just underneath the way that these T-bolts now get inserted is just a little different. So now there's a slot here you can see versus the slot being in the end here. Just slightly different you know manufacturing improvement who knows why the reason was but they did it for a reason, so just something I noticed being different. Other than that, it's a self-explanatory install. Again, I urge you to go to the iBoard Auto website, check out what they have available for your vehicle. These are obviously for a Chevy Colorado or a GMC Canyon, but they have 
many multiple applications for many different vehicles, SUVs and pickup trucks alike. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and check out the links in the description. And as always, thanks a lot for watching. Please like, subscribe and share and we'll see you next time. Later.